Well, welcome to another episode of Richard's Backyard Greenhouses. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a foundation that I designed a while back that I'd like to share with you guys if you decide you want to build your own foundation. I call it the I-Beams Foundation. Basically, it's uh, pressure treated wood put together and it looks pretty nice. I'm going to show you down here how it works. Let me max get down in here where we can show it, people. You have, a, uh, you have a base plate, you have a sill plate, you have the I beam, and you have a top sill plate. These all lock together. So when you want to do a door drop, I'll show you over here. We're going to walk over and see a door drop as well. You have all the elements coming together and you can put a door drop in here with the system. So basically what you're doing is you're laying a plate all the way around connected and then you're building a stem wall on top of it with these I-beam parts. Now to keep in mind that this is dimensional lumber so you have to if you when you do this door drop you need to think about this is nine and a half this is an inch and a half and this is an inch and a half so you can get a two by ten which is nine and a half get a two by eight which is seven and a half etc etc so when you do your door drop keep that in mind now I'm gonna lock the corner together here so you can see how that works exactly Okay, so we're going to put this corner together. There we go. Now it should go together. There. So that's what she looks like when she's done. And get down the inside of that two max there and show how nice it goes together on the inside. Okay, and then another thing we do, and I like to do, is we caulk this outside edge just to prevent any water from getting in between the layers. Oh, Max will show you that here. You can see how it's caulked. It's caulked here, it's caulked here, and it's caulked under here. And then we just put together the corners with screws, and you're good to go. Well, almost good to go. The next thing we do, and if you watched my previous video, you saw how we did dug the holes in concrete and attached these brackets to that in concrete. So, thanks. We'll see you next time.